The UK Overseas Territory of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands is home to some of the largest breeding colonies of seabirds in the subantarctic. Tens of millions of seabirds call the islands home, including penguins, albatrosses, and shags, as well as skewers and petrels. And even some of the world's most southerly land birds, such as the South Georgia pintail and the unique pipit. The immense concentrations of wildlife are drawn to South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands because conditions here are suitable for breeding. In winter, temperatures across Antarctica plunge down to minus 60 degrees Celsius or lower. and the continent becomes surrounded by hundreds of kilometers of sea ice. This makes overwintering on the white continent impossible for nearly all bird species. South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands, by contrast, offer much milder conditions. And the surrounding waters are home to some of the greatest concentrations of krill and fish anywhere in the world. And this draws the great whales. Unlike Antarctica, South Georgia is covered by these low grassy hummocks and this vegetation is a very important difference. It enables many of the animals to breed and rear young here and it also creates a very important ecosystem and habitat of its own right. The tussock grass provides shelter from the wind for seabirds to raise their chicks in a degree of protection. These reasons and the absence of native predatory land mammals, such as foxes and cats, enable immense bird colonies to thrive. This king penguin colony is home to over half a million birds, and it's just one colony of many scattered all along the coast of South Georgia. The deep waters of the Southern Ocean bring up nutrients and create some of the richest feeding grounds in the world. And that's what supports this incredible concentration of animal life. Millions of penguins call South Georgia home, including vast numbers of king penguins that congregate together to form creches to rear their young. On the colder South Sandwich Islands, Hardy chinstrap penguins also form immense breeding colonies. With over two million birds on Zavadovsky Island alone. Around 200,000 Gentoo penguins also abound across the territory. The abundance of seabirds here draws predators, such as giant petrels, which are among the apex carnivores on the beaches here. In land, wandering albatrosses nest amongst the tussock grass. 
This species has the largest wingspan of all birds alive today and can exceed three meters. Pairs bond for life and have intricate courtship rituals. They are master gliders and may circumnavigate Antarctica three times or more each year in search of food. South Georgia is also home to the endemic South Georgia pintail, one of the world's most southerly ducks. It's also one of the few members of the duck family that is known to scavenge meat. And the island is also home to the unique pipit, the world's most southerly songbird. Recent population surveys suggest around 70 million birds live across South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. But this may be only half of the number that naturally occurred here. Originally, there were no land-based predators at all in South Georgia. And that meant many of the seabirds could nest directly on the ground or in burrows. But like so many places, unfortunately, the accidental introduction of rodents has changed things. There's now an estimated 200 million rats and mice on the island, and that's directly altered the seabird populations that occur here. Introduced rodents decimated the number of birds over the 20th century by killing chicks and eating eggs and non-native reindeer trampled nests, displacing many birds from across the islands. To help protect the native wildlife, the South Georgia Heritage Trust and the Friends of South Georgia Island raised funds for a multi-million pound rodent eradication program, which involved the trust dropping tons of rodent poison across the island. In parallel, the government of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands employed expert Sami herdsmen from Norway to round up and humanely euthanize the reindeer. The effort was the largest successful rodent eradication program ever undertaken. And the numbers of native land birds are already rebounding, such as the unique pipit. Over 1.24 million square kilometers of waters around the islands have been preserved as an immense sustainable fishery zone. This protects the krill and fish that form the basis of the entire ecosystem. With these measures, the immense bird colonies of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands will be permanently protected. As concentrated breeding hotspots, these islands are of global importance. And it's hoped that they will continue to recover to become even greater treasure troves of bird life in the future. This film was made possible by the South Georgia Heritage Trust, the Friends of the British Overseas Territories, and the Don Hansen Charitable Foundation.